Okay, so today's the day. I'm gonna go pick up my brand new BYD Addo 3. Is that my car? That might be my car. That might be my car <laughs> as well. Oh, that, that might be my car. Bro, those were my cars. Oh, there's so many. Uh, stupid me. Didn't realize they don't accept bank checks. So now I need to go to the bank, put the money back in and then do a bank transfer. So hopefully that happens immediately and I'll be able to pick up the car in about an hour's time. Okay, so today's the day. I'm gonna go pick up my brand new BYD Addo 3. I, I put an order down about four months ago. So that's around August time. And then there are two contracts that you need to sign. I think the first contract came in in about October and then the second contract in November, December. And now I'm picking up the car today, which is December. Um, so the whole process took around about uh, four months, which is quite fast. I was expecting the car to arrive in January, February, but it looks like it's came here early. And then, and then I got a call from BYD saying your car's here, and then I'm just scrambling. I'm like, whoa, what? So yeah, it's a good early Christmas present for me. And um, I mean, we should be at work right now, but <laughs> we should be at work right now. I took today off just so I can go pick up the car, and I would love to bring you guys along with me for this journey. And what I've done actually is I've got all the paperwork with me. I've got the <clears throat> I've got the bank check, and then I've also got here a pre-collection checklist as well. And it's put together by uh, a group member in the BYD EV Owners Group. Um, her name is Stephanie. Thank you very much for putting the list together. So today I'm hoping to go through this list and and shoot a video so we can go through the entire list, just show showing you um, everything that we need to go through. And yeah, any challenges at the moment? I think the whole process for me, at least, has been quite smooth. So, from ordering the car, putting my deposit down, to now picking up the car, I've been communicated quite well. So I know there's a lot of stories on Facebook, people saying that you know there's been a lot of issues. But for me, how from when I ordered it to now picking up the car, it's been quite a seamless process. So yeah, we'll bring you guys along. We'll get there, and then we'll go through the list. Is that my car? Is that my car right here? We'll find out. Oh, that might be my car. Would you with white? Well, that might be my <laughs> car as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that that might be my car. Well, that might be my car as well. Or are those my cars? Oh, there's so many. My car, my. Oh, they're all the same. I've got this checklist here. It's very, very comprehensive. You can see that it has uh, general vehicle items, boot compartment, and it goes through to, and it goes through to the interior, exterior, infotainment, paperwork and regulations, warranty. Um, so, yeah, I encourage everyone to join the BYD community on Facebook. And then there's a lot of useful information and resources that will make your life so much easier. Any questions at all, you can always post it up. So thank you very much to the group and Stephanie for putting this together. All right, let's go pick up the car. So our experience has been extremely positive so far. We've got introduced, brought in, just uh, explaining what's going on. The only thing is I brought in a bank check. So um, uh, stupid me, didn't realize they don't accept bank checks. So now I need to go to the bank, put the money back in and then do a bank transfer. So hopefully that happens immediately and I'll be able to pick up the car in about an hour's time. But the staff here have been really, really friendly. Um, they looked, you know, they came out straight away, greeted us and told us everything that we needed to do to uh, be able to pick up the car today. So, uh, and uh, we got offered water, so <laughs> very nice of them.
Okay, so we are finally got our cars here. So we're just gonna go over to checklist here and then uh, we're just gonna have a walk around the car making sure that everything is okay. Uh, one of the sales representatives has done the run over with us and he's been very comprehensive for the whole car. So I'm very happy. Uh, but I just like to go through the list anyway, just making sure that I've got everything. So the first thing I've got here is the first thing I've got here is two key fobs and an NFC card. So I've got two key fobs and one NFC card. Very good. 12 volt battery. I'll just mark this as I go. I've got 12 volt battery. Battery is fine. Um, I checked the battery at the moment. It's sitting at around about 80%, uh, which I'm happy with. I don't have a problem with charging. Tire pressure, once again, they're all sitting at about 40 to 38 psi it depends what you'd like if you like a softer ride you can reduce your psi but that's that could all be fixed in the future so all good uh byd granny charger i've got that we got the vehicle to load adapter uh, the most important thing being the granny charger so you've got that here which plugs into your 10 amp outlet to be able to charge your car and then uh, of course the vehicle to load as well so you can power other appliances um, and then one extra bit here is they also give you a bit of hand lotion, hand wash, and sanitizer. So, very cool. Very, very cool from BYD. So that's all good. Tire puncture kit, I've got tool kit, I've got, um, he's, uh, the sales rep showed me everything. So, and I've checked that I've got the tool kit underneath the car. So, beautiful. Air conditioning, heating, uh, we've done all that. Heated seats, uh, we did that as well. Window switches on doors. So that's what we need to go through and do. So right now I'm just gonna close the boot, uh, making sure that the boot works. Close, open. And then if I get you to pop over to the other side. Um, so this is a very good list. Uh, we can check all the window switches uh, working. So passenger side, passenger rear, All working and then driver side that's all working so uh, sunshade up here we've tested that once again already making sure that it all works and then that opens all the way up to the back towards the middle I think oh, you can go even further than that and that's it so the window kind of stops in the middle and the shade goes a little bit further back I think the shade can go slightly further back so then the rear passenger feels like uh, a bit more open so that's all good that's all working uh, all the headlights taillights that's all working we've checked that ambient lighting uh, it's a bit bright at the moment but I'm sure it works steering wheel stock we've tested that steering wheel buttons uh, the most important button which is this one check this out ooh that's working uh, center console buttons, uh, you know, the eco, drive mode, park, blinkers, that all seems to be working. Your wireless charging pad, let's give that a try. So I think you can turn this, uh, turn this part on and off. So at the moment it should be on and it's working. And you can see that it says wireless charging in progress. So that's very good. Um, yeah, one thing to keep in mind here on the note as well is don't put anything metallic here. Don't put your keys here because it's a wireless charging pad. It might have interference. Uh, USB ports. I uh, don't have a USB with me, so you can plug it in and make sure that it's all working as well. Passenger side airbag says it's on. Where do I do that? Go back to home. Uh, I think there's a light somewhere, but I'll come back to that. I'm sure it's fine. Micro SD I've got for the cam recorder. Uh, floor mats. Uh, we don't have floor mats, but I don't believe they come with floor mats. I think some dealerships, they come with them, but uh, unfortunately not with these ones, so I'll have to source some floor mats from elsewhere. Uh, panel bumps, scratches. I would, I would, I'd have a once walk around with the car just to check out the exterior bodywork, but uh, panel bumps, scratches, light casing, door, boot, seals, rubbers, EV badges I've got. Good, take that off. Software update, starter plan. Uh, there's a SIM card in there at the moment. I understand that there is a data plan available, so we'll need to check what that is. Uh, check 
check screens. Uh, both of my screens are working perfectly fine. Android Auto, uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So at the moment, I understand that they don't have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay at the moment, but that is going to come in in the software update uh, potentially early next year. So uh, we'll do a, potentially do another video when that comes in. Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, I'll test that. VIN number and plate, good. E-tag updates are just, that's uh, Victoria, I'm currently with New South Wales. Roadside assistance, good, good. Pop rivets, good. Service logbook, I should ask about the servicing as well, actually. Uh, warranty handbook, BYD owners, good, good, good. So that's all good. Let's go and check out the bodywork. Okay, so at the moment, it's just the bodywork. Uh, I'm just gonna go over everything. Um, the paint job looks to be in very good nick. Um, the build quality, for a BYD, it's insanely good. You can hear the door thunk, it's incredible for a car at this price point. And then know. you can just go over the whole car, look for any wheel rashes potentially on the wheels. So this one's all good. This one's good. Check, check the lower section of the car just to see if there's potentially any um, things. So like here, for example, you can see this is just a bit of dirt and it's just the adhesive when they peeled it off. So that's all good. Um, making sure that everything towards the bottom of the car is good. Paint job. Um, check this side of the wheel. That's all good. And then just get in level just to have some light so you can see the body panels and any imperfections. Um, if, there's any uh, if there's any imperfections, obviously you can reach out to the sales rep and just to notify them of this issue before you drive off. So um, charge port is all good. We've checked that. So AC, DC, that's all good to go. Closes, good. Um, and the wheel on this side is all good as well. So. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything, so let's get out of here. Okay, so we're on the road now. Um, first thing that I've noticed driving this car is how incredibly light this steering is, and it makes it really easy to drive, but at the same time, it also takes a lot of feedback from the road to the steering wheel. So yeah, it's not necessarily a good or bad thing, but it's something that I am definitely trying to get used to at the moment. Um, another thing, um, looking for or rather listening for is any noises that are coming from the car so whether there are normal noises or any rattling or creaking noises that are that are coming from the back or even up the front here and so far i can't hear anything if anything at the moment i'm just trying to get used to the lack of noise oh, this car is so incredibly quiet man um yeah no creaks no rattles the car is incredibly well put together despite all these plastic for the air vents here um, i can't hear any creaks coming from those areas and as i'm driving around i'm just also trying to get used to the car not necessarily apply for electric cars only but for any new cars that i get i like to just get used to the car one thing that i'm testing out is also the different drive mode so in the byd there are three drive mode there's the eco normal and the sport mode so i've just been toggling between these three modes and just understanding how the car behaves in eco normal and sport mode and you can definitely tell a difference between the eco and the sport mode in this car because in eco mode when you accelerate is really sluggish and in sports mode you can definitely tell as you put your foot down it's just so much more responsive Another thing I'm trying out is the regenerative braking on this car. So in the BYD, there is the standard mode and the high mode. So unlike any other electric cars, like a Tesla, for example, it doesn't have one pedal driving. So when you lift off, it doesn't automatically apply the brakes or it doesn't slow down the car. But the regenerative braking on the BYD instead is applied manually. So what that means is when you apply the brakes, then there will be regenerative braking. And you can see that um, on the little screen in front of you as you brake, there is the negative kilowatt, meaning that you're feeding energy back into the car. So what I find is that this car is actually a great transitional car for anyone who is going from a petrol car to an electric car, uh, because this car drives pretty much exactly the same as a normal petrol car. 
So, so far, this is just a quick first impression of the car. I'm hoping to make a few more videos on this car. If you've got any questions or if there's anything you'd like to learn more about this car, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below and I'll try and combine everything and make a video on this. So I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date and get notified next time I make a video on this BYD Auto 3. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.